Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for the first of my scenario and narrative based videos for Project Zomboid. I did a similar video recently focusing on the narrative of a law enforcement officer, but unfortunately due to the recent update changing save files of the previous build, that character is no longer available. And I figured it was best to end on an episode one rather than rush out a few more and ultimately not finish the series anyway. So after a bit of time spent with the debug menu, I've learned how to set up some more scenario based characters to make our runs a little bit more interesting. It'll be a light bit of roleplay, saucy, I know, with some loose goals in mind to make things more challenging. And one last thing before we jump in, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy watching and be sure to check out Patreon if you want to help support me in becoming a full-time creator whilst getting some benefits for yourself along the way. Enjoy the video folks. Just a few items that would make sense for a military general. It's kind of how we're going to run the scenario narrative kind of setup, so uh, let's jump in. So, we have a couple of items to our name which I have granted for this scenario. So we have a 1911 knife. That's it. <laughs> that is all we got. We've got a knife, we've got a pistol, and we have spawned in what I believe is actually a reconstructed refugee camp. It used to just be like a hospital, I think. Shit. I thought there was a zombie in here, I'm hearing them. Okay, so I see three zombies down there. The mist is actually probably helping us. One of them's got a bag. Oh, is that like a... Oh, wow. Okay, so that's food, but I need to get in there. Let's try and, let's try and deal with these guys. Okay, let's time that right. The instant kill. I'm sure if that's like a hole in the wall. Not sure. Okay. Whew. Nice. So I want this. So we've already got an M16, granted no ammo, a backpack, um, I feel like the hospital is just going to be swarming. Wow. Yeah, nothing good happened here. Oh, fucking. Woo. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and conserve the knife where I can. I'm not going to use it all the time because I'm very aware that we could just break it and then we're going to be in a bit of a pickle. I didn't actually check the rest of these smaller, smaller tents. Looking for right now more than anything is probably weapons and ammo and maybe even a way out of here to be honest. We just found it a bit weird how you can climb through those sideways windows but alarm set for oh, we got some bandages soap sleeping tabs um bleach 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 we can pour that on the ground and 
We'll drink first, and then we can fill that with water, right? Here we go. Throw it out in our bag, because it's going to be quite heavy. I'll only take the one. Getting hungry already. But we picked the hearty appetite. Perk. Okay. Kind of to be expected. What do we got here? More nine mils. Kind of wondering if I'd be better off switching out. Not yet. We don't have any extra magazines or something like that. So we're getting up to about midday. We haven't pumped into that many zombies yet. I'm guessing the hospital is just swarming with them, to be honest. Got here. Anything? Oh, nice. Okay. Found ourselves a hand scythe. Okay, we're gonna drop this. Take the military one instead, because that's slightly better. And just throw everything in there. Oh, nice. Okay. Some supplies in here. House key. So could we actually spend the night here? Is it for this door? It is. We could spend the night if we wanted to. An opener. Big win. There's got to be some food in here. Pop will do. Yeah. Okay, we can drop the bleach bottle now. So we've got a proper bottle of water and we'll take a second one as well for now. Got the space. So if you're wondering about the loot distribution on this one. Oh, very nice. Basically what I've done is I've gone with, uh, I believe extremely rare with um, everything except for guns and ammo. Guns and ammo are on normal. Uh, just kind of in the the sense that, you know, with this being a military character, I did kind of just want to increase our chances of actually finding weapons and ammo. I'm sticking with the M16 for now. Um, we're not going to be using a weapon in here anyway. I'd like to train our skill in it and eventually start using some firearms, but in here I think we'd be asking for it be asking for a very quick death. Um, what is that? Avon Protection S. Ooh. That is a fancy bag. Okay, let's take everything out of this. Do another bag swap. So we've got some 45 ACP, which will go with the, uh, Stuff we have here. How's the duration on this uh, hand scythe? Great. We've got a couple of knives, so I might use the knife instead for now. Ooh, okay. Silences. Now those go on what exactly? M14 and M24 silences. I am using a different mod pack. I had some issues with uh, with our standard one with setting up scenario here, so I've had to swap out poor loot for uh, Britta's armor. Okay. Machete away for now then. Machete is a really good weapon, so I am going to keep hold of it. It's like one of the best weapons we could hope to find. Oh, a wrist T helmet? Oh, damn. What are we at? 5.20pm. Wow, that's a lot of zombies. I wouldn't mind finding food. I mean, we have some basics. But it's, uh, well, we have some rice, actually. So. Um, alright, let's drop, let's drop some of this off in here. Sure, it's not the best base in the world. 
but it's a secure building. Somewhere I can stockpile things. Especially things like ammo that maybe we don't want to carry a lot of. We can actually put the four times on the rifle I'm using right now. For now, I'm gonna leave the M16 here. I do, I do, I do want to use the M16. We can, but how much point if uh, I don't have mama before it? So, what else we got here? Cookie. Yeah, see, we don't really have much in the way of like good food. We have rice, but like we've got nothing to put with it. I can't believe we're just like in the middle of a fucking quarantine camp making a saucepan of rice because why the hell not, right? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with the apocalypse. All I need is my rice. My pain. Like I guess we can head for the hospital and try and work our way through these buildings. I'm thinking this right here is an armory. These right here I think are armories, but you know, it's a shot in the dark, I don't know that, but they're central, they're large buildings, maybe they're, they're just another place for beds. I don't know. Zombies outside. I could use some sheets, honestly. Lock these windows. If anything starts banging on the windows at night, I'm screwed. Wait, there's no bed in here. It's a... Oh, fuck me. Um... Okay, I think we can resolve that problem. We should be able to pick up one of these beds in here. And we should have no problem with doing that. Okay, fantastic, yeah. So 2.5 weight. Really good little, like, item for setting up, like, an impromptu base, because you don't need skill to dismantle them, which is usually required. Uh, and it might seem weird, but uh, I'm gonna put it in the free. I'm gonna put it in the freezer, and the reason behind that is because, well, it's the only room with no window. Here we go. It's getting to half past eight in the evening, so I overdo it here. Okay, these aren't. This is definitely not an armory, but it might have medical supplies. We have a machete, I mean, we should be able to take a group that size. Honestly, and it might benefit us to do so, but for now I don't want to take that risk. Let's swing around them. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Playing it safe never does work out for me, I don't know why. God damn, I'm glad we found this machete. Hey, nice glasses, dude. If I do. Hell yeah. Alright. God, could you imagine just... You're a military general, you know, you've, you've trained these guys. And now, you happen to put him down. That is quite a few in that corner. We're going to stay clear of that corner in particular. Some dead bodies in there. Oh, bobby pin, nice. Excuse me. Incredibly rude. Oh jeez, here we go. Oh wow. Yeah. There's the big group that we were looking for. Well, not so much looking for. I'm tempted to go and explore the hospital, but I also know that that might be suicide. <laughs> but I'm grabbing this pack because this is better than ours. I just don't particularly want to stand around here trying to sort our gear. Let's get it back to our little safe house if you like. Just drop this here. I'm gonna go deal with these zombies. Can 
I always hate when they do that. They get away from you when they're getting up. Okay, how we doing? Oh wow, okay. Oh! Oh, that was close. Have they just broken a gate down? All oh, they have. It's like fucking three of them right there. Not ideal. Uh, I really don't want to risk fighting the rest of the ones by the gate. I don't think that's worth it. That's our escape route though. Out of here. And we want to leave. Okay, so this gives us better weight reduction and more capacity. And we are hungry though. Not sure if hearty appetite was the right perk to pick. Oh, that's, uh, okay. I did not think this through. Fine. Gotta be done. <laughs>